Andrew Terranova. Let's talk robots. Actually today, let's talk about something we need to build robots. If you, uh, if you do any soldering, you may find that you need what's called a fume extractor. That takes the, uh, the dangerous fumes that come away from uh, soldering and uh, brings it away from your face so you don't inhale it. I found a, uh, a hair dryer that I had uh, gotten for free and, and used as part of another project. And I, what I didn't need is the case or the motor or fan. And I was about to throw them out and I said, oh, wait a minute. Maybe I could use these. And uh, the shape of, and size of this means I could position the fume extractor exactly where I wanted it to be to, uh, to get better airflow. This design also makes use of a uh, nickel metal high drive rechargeable battery pack. I'll show you how to make one. It works pretty good and you can uh, make use of an old hair dryer that might otherwise be in the trash. All right, let's see how to do it. So it's pretty easy. Simply take apart your old hair dryer. Okay. You don't need any of the electronics, uh, any of the um, electrical parts except for the motor. Now the motor may very well have four little diodes soldered on here. It's really important that you take those off. So you have to desolder those, then take your battery and hook up the battery and test the direction of the motor. Um, figure out which side has to be plus and minus in order for the airflow to go that way. So you have marked airflow direction and a minus for the, that side and a plus for that side. Then simply solder, run your wires through the case. Uh, make sure you do that first. Then solder them on. Inside here, all the heat coils have been removed. I've just cut a circle to circle of the carbon filter to fit. I'm using the uh, original heat shield just to sort of hold in the filter. It's not really necessary, but uh, you could just put something in there, a roll of cardboard or paper or whatever you want to hold it together. Then you reassemble your piece, being careful not to pinch the wires. You can see how the wire is routed through that central hole. The insides of your hairdryer may look a little different, but just make sure you carefully uh, install the wire. Uh, tie a knot as strain relief. Okay. You can see there's no switch in here, it's just a cover plate. I use the switch for another project, but you could use a switch uh, that is in your hair dryer if you want to. I found just using the connector was fine, but if you want to use the original switch, just make sure that, um, sometimes those switches have a, uh, a diode soldered onto it, so you may need to unsolder it um, and remove that diode. Okay, get it all lined up. Strain relief, got my switch. Got to get everything lined up just right. When everything's lined up right, just screw it back together. Okay. Then what I did is I simply taped the wire out of the way, a piece of electrical tape, like this. Now that you've got your wire taped out of the way, position your battery with the wires in the back. You want the handle um, further back, kind of uh, far back on the body of the battery. And um, now what you can do is take some electrical tape, run it underneath your battery, and just begin to wrap it in sort of a crosswise pattern over and around the battery, like so. Let's take a closer look. Okay, we'll just turn it on by plugging in the connector. It's a little loud. And I'm just going to do a simple 
wire splice here. But we can see that as I splice this wire, most of the fumes are getting captured. And again, it's it's just a if I pull it even a little bit away, a lot of the fumes don't get captured. Although it, it draws it away from my face pretty well. So that's it. A simple and easy fume extractor made from reused parts. Enjoy!